Hi, it's 1.38 p.m. on the clock and uh, we still have Dr. Maria with us who is talking about uh, health for all on World Health Day which is today and Dr. a lot of questions have started coming in so uh, let's take them Sure, sure, yeah. sure So uh, the first question that I want to ask you is what also I have on my mind it's by Shrija She's asking can Covid trigger heart attacks and also accelerate growth of cancer cells? Um, so as such the disease Covid uh, potentially should not Okay. Uh, there were some problems in patients who had severe kind of a COVID. At that time, some clotting factors in their blood did increase, and that is was one of the reasons of having some heart attack related matters, which is why we insisted on vaccination. Okay. Uh, regarding cancer, there is no research yet, you know, that has been proven to show that uh, having a COVID could lead to cancers. But are there studies happening? There are a lot of studies happening. See, uh, COVID was sudden. It was a sudden thing. uh um, the world was not prepared for that but uh since the last 2 years since we have been dealing with this a lot of research has been going across the world to understand the effects of covid long covid you know people who had covid for some time lost some sensation of smell people still are not able to smell the perfumes as they were previously but uh, what about vaccines and uh, heart attacks it's just like the burning issue Do you want to say something about that so uh, yes we as doctors we faced a lot of uh um, questioning from patients regarding you know is the vaccine good or is it not good um so vaccines causing side effects is a known factor for any vaccine for example okay. but the proportion of patients who get affected with the side effects is very 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 low but okay. we we do need to document that uh, in terms of covid vaccination the w- one reason why people were worried was because it was produced too quickly Okay. Right. People yeah. thought, "Ki, you know, how can something be so quick to produce, and it must be something you know, wrong?" Yeah. So, uh, one thing I wanted to share with your, uh, you know, audience is that uh, normally, when any medical uh, device or a vaccine is produced, the time taken of that is three to five years, not because of the procedure that they are doing in making the vaccine, but because of the processes of approvals. So, oh, a okay. vaccine, the trials that are required for the vaccines. the governments are involved in those trials and any government in the world will take its own time because they are already dealing with so many things so vaccine was produced quickly not because it was a, there was a shortcut done it was just because everybody understood that approvals need to be given on a hourly basis so anything that was required was approved quickly and that is how we save time in making those vaccine this can be possible for other things as well but of course of course because it is a pandemic every government in the world was you know relying on quickness okay so it was the paperwork you need it was the paperwork the vaccine itself correct